Golly G Willikers, guys. It's your boy, Marcus. And we're going to be playing some Minecraft today. Um, going to continue. This is episode five of the Let's Play. So it's a sub Let's Play too, but no one's joined. So, okay. Or no one's asked to join. So, all right, cool. Um, but yeah. Hey, Muffin Man, what's going on, dude? Thanks for jumping in the live chat. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Sorry about that. I don't know if I got that muted in time or not. <laughs> anyway, if I didn't, excuse me. If I did, good deal. Uh, but yeah. Uh, all right i've been dealing with um watery eyes today still trying to figure out why but it's okay i guess so i had full intentions on being live sooner than this today like two o'clock or whatever but your boy had something come up so Sorry. But yeah. Um Muffin Man, what's what's going on with you? You said bloated, right? You're so full. Well, did you eat too much? I know I'm fixing to personally um start cutting back. I think what I'm gonna do is work on cutting out bread. So that means pizza. That means um Cheesy bread, that means brownies, cookies, muffins, biscuits, loaf bread, you know, cereal. Try and cut bread. Um, gonna do my best. Okay. Cutting back a little bit, uh, at the start is great. It helps. But you can't pick it back up. Now, to replace that, we go with, uh, you know, healthy, healthy snacks, you know, um, certain types of nuts, uh, vegetables, um, peanut butter, you know, talking big dinner or something. Wait, what? Talking about a six ounce sirloin ribs, barbecue sauce, shrimp, Texas bread, and tater skin. Interesting. Well, cool. <laughs> I'm glad you got to eat, man. I'm glad you got to eat. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. But yeah, today we're going to be working on terraforming a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're going to work on terraforming and... I kind of want to decorate the house, but... I'm not real sure right now if I want to decorate it just yet or continue building because I can always go back and do like a, you know, and decorating, uh, decorating video or whatever, you know? But yeah. Peanut butter with bananas is a top tier snack. Exactly. And see, you could probably do it even better. I don't know if you could get, uh, like freeze dried banana and not banana chips because banana chips are like, pretty much soaked in syrup, you know, but like freeze dried bananas with, you know, some, some peanut butter on the side or something, or you know, peanut butter on top, like a cracker, you know? Oh yeah. Cut out crackers too. I like crackers a lot. Saltines, uh, club crackers, and, you know, I'll just snack on crackers really. Um, I got to replace that with something better. 
I am getting too big, too fat, too fat. Trust. Um, and I know it. So we're gonna we're gonna back off a little bit. Yeah. So I'll do like sunflower seeds unsalted would be good you know every now and then have some salted but unsalted or maybe even um i wouldn't do the unhold like already cracked open just the seeds i would do like the ones that you have to work at um for one it keeps me busy mentally and two I'm not as prone to eating as much if I have to uh, crack them open myself. So, yeah. Uh, a little bit of pistachios, not many, not many pistachios. Um, try and back off, like do a little bit of fruit, not even like the sweet fruit, but like you know, maybe some strawberries here and there, but I can't, and you know, uh, is berries, a, would berries be considered fruit? I think they are. Are they considered berries? Hmm. I don't know that answer. And if I did know that answer from years ago, it probably changed by now. Because watermelon's a vegetable and tomatoes a fruit. So I don't know how that works, but okay. Um yeah. I don't know why, but I <laughs> I've never really liked the taste of tomatoes i don't know why but if i can acquire a taste for beets i could probably acquire a taste for just about any vegetable but yeah hey aquarius what's going on man thanks for jumping in the live chat i appreciate it how are you doing today oh guys um I want to show you, uh, Quaris already seen them, but I want to show you, uh, as far as the stream goes, what I have, um, uh, designed for myself. Um, I want a good pair of shoes. I want to see what you guys think. Okay. So we've got I move these I can't move these in the folder. Okay. So we've got these and we've got those. Let me show you. Here's these. I wish I could rotate them for you, but I can't. This is the front and then this is the rear of them. Okay. And then here's the other ones. And I think I, I think since I took this picture, I changed the, uh, the black to white just to give it a little bit of contrast in the back. Uh, but this, I think I'm going to go with suede for the strap here around the, around the front. And the strap even can, uh, is part of this, where it, the strap goes through this eyelet here. And then I think it's the silver, the center line too. So this is all suede instead of leather. Um, so yeah. And then this one, like, I like the red. Don't get me wrong. I like the black, white, gray, and red. It looks good, but I don't wear enough red for it to be a valuable um, colorway. 
No, these are highs. These are not mids. These are highs. Air Force One. Uh, is it 07 highs? Or highs 07 or something like that? But yeah. We could do like a solid color soul to go with the midsole being white, but I like the little, um, it looks like a garage floor texture. It's got the, the white and the black specks in the gray. It's really nice. Let's see, can I zoom in? I can. You guys see it now? I think that looks pretty good. Get some ones, bro. Why the ones are the ones uh, the ones without the strap maybe? Well, and I've also I'm also this muffin man. You might be able to pick whatever shoe you want to wear, right? I can't do that. I don't have that luxury. Um, because the size air jordan ones yeah no i'm not i'm not interested in spending 300 bucks on a pair of shoes these are shoes that i'm gonna wear to work these are shoes that i'm gonna wear to work so yeah but i think i like the grays better than the the reds but i also um changed this portion right here that goes around the toe then curls up here I also changed that portion to gray last night and it looked pretty good, you know, or change the top part here to, uh, to gray and leave everything else black. It looks pretty good, but I kind of feel like with the eyelets, the eyelet band here being gray, it was too much bleeding down into one area, but yeah. Mr. D, welcome to the chat, man. Thanks for jumping in the live chat. I appreciate it. Um, how you doing? He's talking about Jordan 1s. Air Jordan 1s. All right. Anyway, those are the shoes that i pretty sure I would like to get. Um, I just gotta wait for a minute to get them. So, yeah. Yeah, I um you like you like that uh Aquarius, you like those? I'm just not a fan of that color. Like I'm okay with it. You know, I'm down if you like it. Great. But for me, I I'm not an aged an aged white look kind of thing. That's just me. You know what I mean? Don't don't hate on me, but oh okay. Yeah, but these are like dude, these are like you said lows. Uh yeah, we're good. I can I'm good to show this. These are these are the ones you're talking about. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Men. Fifteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Can I change them? They're one hundred and ten dollars. Look at this shadow toe. What the heck is that, bro? No one knows what a shadow toe is. I don't know what a shadow toe is. <laughs> Here, we'll, we'll look, find it somehow. Um, literally Google it. I did literally Google it. I copied and pasted. You guys can't even see it. I copied and pasted. So 
brown goat. 15s. 122. I mean, those are kind of nice. Can I look at a different angle? Hmm. I don't like them. I don't like them. Let me tell you why. The toe curls up. The heel curls up. So when I put my weight down, it's going to pull creases in the shoe. I don't like them. I don't like them. That's just me, though. Creases come out with a damp towel plus iron. And then, yeah, okay, just put crease protectors in while I'm working all day. Right, okay, yeah. That, yeah, that sounds feasible. Yeah, let's just do that. Easy, right? I don't like them, they curl up. I don't like that. I don't like that crap. Sorry. It's a nice looking shoe. Don't get me wrong. They were nice looking shoes. But I don't like this right here. Three quarter an inch off the ground. They're not uncomfy. You can just adjust the protector uh, if I'm not wrong. Oh. Still, I don't, I don't like the fact they're three quarter an inch off the ground to begin with. And then I have to put my foot in them and flatten them out. Sorry. It's just Nike. Yeah, but it, yeah, but this right here, bruh. Well, it's not just Nike. Like I understand what people are, you know, people are going to say or whatever about the just Nike, but it's the different patterns that are on it. Okay. This has that, the whole like heel part right here. Um, and then it's got the upper part and then the mid part under the swoosh and then the swoosh and then the mid front part and then the front part and the toe cover. They all have different names, but yeah. Robert, thanks for jumping in the live chat, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for jump. Yeah. Um, what? I just, I was a broken record. Uh, how are you doing? All right. <laughs> that was a broken record. No, I don't, I don't like them. No, I'm good. Thank you though. Thank you though. Uh, I'll, I mean, you know, thank you though. Uh, and you guys, you guys, and I also thought about they offer this like lilac cover. It's like a color. It's like a soft lavender uh, for the strap, and then the the back part that has the the Nike and the swoosh and stuff in it on those high tops that I was looking at. Um, They offer that, and I kind of like that purple. I'm not a big fan of the lavender, but yeah. All right, guys, take it easy. I know you guys are all about shoes, or some of you are, and some of you ain't. 
I was just showing you guys what I had created and what I was gonna get for myself. So yeah, the only thing is I may have to put some insoles in them. I don't know how comfortable they're gonna be. Now, Aquarius did tell me they were gonna be like really uncomfortable, but Walking into work with some, what? Wait, had to sacrifice comfort for fashion. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, um, my shoes are getting worn out. The shoes that I wear to work, specifically wear to work, they, um, the insoles are getting wore out and they were like a comfy insole, you know? Uh, my foot is starting, or my ankle is starting to not have the support it needs in those shoes. So I, uh, I was going to get highs because I might be able to uh, have a little bit of support or stabilizing. Yeah. FGS Nugget, what's going on? Thanks for jumping in the live chat. I appreciate it. Uh, we are fixing to do the verse of the day, and then we're going to get into Minecraft. Uh, we're doing a little bit of just chatting, letting people get in. Um, really, that's all. But uh, um, yeah, we're going to do the verse of the day now, and then we'll jump into. Uh, Then we'll jump into the game we're gonna do some terraforming getting the land ready on the world uh for expansion okay so we'll see we'll see how that goes all right here let me pause the music real quick all right verse of the day comes from psalms chapter 147 verse 11 in the niv translation Let's see, this is, this is what it reads like. Uh, the, the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Now, again, I touched on this last time. There was something about the fear him part. I still don't understand uh the fear like i i've never been taught and no one's ever explained it to me about the fear part the fear him part is it like a like a respect kind of thing or like what's going on with that you know i just don't i don't understand uh the fear part but yeah uh, the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Hmm. Okay. His unfailing love. So no matter what you do to him, what you do against him, he's still going to love you. No matter what you do, what you think might be the worst thing in the world, he's still going to love you. It's great. It's great. I'll read it one more time. Psalms chapter 147, verse 11 in the NIV translation. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Interesting. Can I get a praying hands and an amen in chat, please? So I know you guys are listening. 
Let me get the game loaded, all right? It loaded up. Boom, red. All right, let's see. Man, 3K in credit card debt, huh? We don't do praying hands, we dab for God. <laughs> no, like, dab, like, the dab is me. Praying hands is for the verse of the day, bro. You don't talk to me about something. Right yonder. Uh, yeah. Praying hands for Marcus dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. All right, let's see. What do we got going on here? All right. I'll give you tips if you need help. Uh, what do you mean? Help with what? And just so people know, I mean, I've been playing the game since it come out. Not that I know everything about the game. Don't get me wrong. I don't know everything about the game, but I have been playing it for longer than some of you have been alive, to be honest. Come at me. <laughs> I'm only messing. I'm only joking around. Someone pulled something on me the other day. They said I could get diamond with a gold pick. Guess what? I believe them because it's been so long since I played. It was it was sad. So sad. Uh, anyway, here's our massive house. Kind of looks like a boo boo. I think sometimes. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. It looks interesting. I, I mean, it does do that anyways. Uh, let's see. It's a gold. Here go. Beetroot, potatoes. Yeah, lily pads can go away. Gold nuggets. For all iron, we need to cook that. I don't know what this is. I found it and I was like, huh, interesting. So we're just going to put it right there for now. I've never seen that. I don't know what that is. Bread. Pumpkin pie. Oh, we got potatoes there. All right. Uh... Yeah. Carrots. I need another chest. I have license plate stickers all over my controller. Wait, why? What's going on with that? I don't understand. Uh, anyway. Yeah, um... Silk Touch, we'll keep the Silk Touch for sure. Um, only reason I'm keeping the iron on me is because, well... Just in case we go, like... Hella skiing or whatever, but yeah. The gold pick is the fastest mining? Oh, okay. I guess that's fair. Wait. Oh. I'm gonna make another pack. Yeah. For right now. Um Uh, we did start something over here, like a patio kind of area, you know? 
thing is i wanted to come out a little bit further like maybe to here and then go up again maybe or because this is four high come down with it one so come out this far and then drop it down one okay Let's see Oh no, you need to calm down with all that, uh, Muffin Man. And yeah, I would say that you've ordered a little bit much, uh, if that's the case, to be honest with you. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking about this place right here. This little divot in the back of the house. We can make like an enchanting room or something out of it. If somehow, some way, make a small enchanting room. If we wanted to go above ground, I mean, we can always go underground. That's always, always a thing, you know? I forgot to do something while I was here. I need to make a blast furnace, but I'm okay. It's fine. Be okay. Promise. We'll be okay. You make a swing. Yeah, um, I was gonna make a... I guess it is a swing. It's kind of like, um... Like parentheses, but the bottoms connect and the top doesn't. So I guess it's kind of like a swing. Um, but I was gonna have to figure out how I was gonna do that kind of thing. Anyway, we're going to have to skip this song, and that song, and that song. You know what? Actually, we're just going to go here. There we go. Yeah. And then... Those. Um... I'm sorry about this here. Right there. I didn't want to blip your guys, you know, you guys' y'all's ears with music. It was like deafening loud. So, yeah. I think we've got enough iron to run some, but yeah. Chains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chains. That's right. Okay. Fair. And to be fair, I haven't played in a while. So doing stuff like that is gonna take me a second to think about it. But you're you're right. You know one, two, four. I do need a colder on. Um, make a couple of lanterns. Let's put this stuff up. leave that one for now 
Uh, let's see. Oh, I was gonna go look at which side I wanted to terraform. And I'm, I'm leaning towards this side because it's already like the biggest. The only thing is we've got to fill in this, this little channel here. What's actually down here? Blue pickle. Nice. Not bad. Oh. Irons right underneath my house. Coal. Okay. Fair. I still want to fill it in, but I don't know if I'd fill it in all the way or what I would do exactly. You know what? I wouldn't fill it in all the way. Yeah, I wouldn't fill it in all the way. Really? Interesting. You used to be able to hop up out of the water. Interesting. Twenty four seven ear ringing is. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been here for years and I'm not insane yet. So just something that you get used to, even though you should never try to get used to it. Just something you get used to. I'm gonna go plant these somewhere else. I don't want them over here. Maybe like over here or something. You know what? I'm probably actually going to pull dirt from... Well, I probably wouldn't pull dirt from here because it's so low already. Actually, probably go to a mountaintop and just pick it. Pick it up from there. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, while we're here. I want to try and fuel everything off of dried kelp. So I need to start my kelp farm. And this is this isn't how you do like an automated kelp farm, but still efficient. If you just take a little bit of time to do it. I mean, it's not a passive thing, so yeah, uh, where are we at? We're here.
Bro, like, get, like, simple. Just put it where I'm looking, dude. Alright. That'll be good enough for now. Where's my boat? Here's my boat. Okay. This other bit of kelp here. I didn't put the lily pads down yet. Let's see, is it gonna? Yeah, it'll cook up there. It'll be fine. Uh, colder on, colder on, colder on, colder on. Where do I put it? I don't know where to put it yet. It's a building. It's a decoratory thing. Excuse me. It's a decoratory thing, but yeah. It's awkward. What's awkward? I don't know what's awkward, so. Okay, cool. Sorry. So, yeah. I mean, we got this whole area up here to make into a bedroom slash armory slash whatever slash, you know, whatever. You know what I want to do? I really honestly don't even want to play Minecraft today. I want to play Cuisine Royale, but you guys don't watch that stuff, so I'll go. I can't really go play that on my own time now because, well, today's. This is what we're playing today. You know, I'm not going to change games. But. Yeah. You know, we can move this upstairs now I just want to pick the side I think I want like my bedroom over this way but right now we'll put it right there yeah and What if nobody watches? Nobody watches what? No one watches Cuisine Royale anyways. I, I know that for a fact. That's why I quit playing it. Because I need watch time and that's not gonna give me watch time. If they don't watch, right? Even if I enjoy the game, you know, I still need to learn more about the game, to be fair. Um, do that. What's watch time for? Watch time uh, keeps me... It shows YouTube, they run an algorithm. It shows YouTube how relevant I am, how many people like watch it, how many people like the stream. Uh, shows them how interested people are in the stream and how engaging the community is with like the chat movement and stuff. Um, watch time also gives me the ability to run ads as well. Like I had to have 4,000 watch hours a year to be able to run ads and make a little bit of money off of this. Um, 
very little money off of this but still we've got 40 right now we've got 4200 we plummeted i mean we dropped uh we dropped over 250 hours in the last few weeks because of i'm not streaming five days a week anymore um and then people you know just aren't interested in what i'm playing or something so a lot of people watch arc and i can't play arc all the time like i understand it's an interesting game but i can't force myself to play it and genuinely enjoy it so sorry but i'm human and that's the way this works i'm gonna eat an apple i think I'm gonna put these lily pads down. Let me pull them down in my bar. Um, where are you going to play Ark? Uh, no, like I have been playing Ark and I lost interest in the game. So therefore I quit playing it and people kind of just like quit watching so i said if i'm not enjoying the game you guys are not going to watch and enjoy watching you know or hanging out or even joining me in the game you guys aren't going to enjoy it because i don't give off that vibe or that energy you know yeah i mean it is going downhill but i mean like i said it's okay we're fine we're still doing we're still doing okay got like 4200 hours or something right now so we're okay But then again, you know, the reason why it's going down is because I used to, like I said, live stream five days a week, five days in a row a week. And now I'm having to pick and choose what day I live stream because of the hours at work. Because now I have a 40 an hour a week job. Or, yeah, 40 an hour a week. So I can't really do anything about it, you know. That's just the way it's gotta be for right now. Until I figure out a schedule or whatever, you know. I, I do my best to let you guys know in the Discord server um, when I'm gonna be live and stuff like that. So not like I just leave you guys in the dark. By the way, I didn't, I don't think I shared it, but it's in the description. Um, I keep forgetting to leave one block. Uh, as a placeholder I'm gonna need more dirt though a ton more dirt actually you know what actually you know what we're gonna go with iron on this one let me pull out some iron uh, oh yeah I moved the crafting table that's right one two shovels I guess for today uh, yeah. I'm fixing to go dig up some earth. I'm fixing to go uh, do that after I get done placing all this. So. But another thing too is I've kind of like backed off on even making my thumbnails. 
because I used to do that, but... I mean... I feel like when it's Minecraft, the one that I have made, the one that I'm using now, and the one that I've been using for a couple weeks now, or a couple days now, is uh, fine. YouTube might not see it that way though. That's why I need, I encourage you guys to leave a like on the stream and you know, stuff like that because it shows the algorithm and YouTube that people are actually interested in my channel and what I'm doing and my content and stuff. Oh wow, we're already out of that? Oh man, this is no bueno. That's why I encourage that, you know? So, if you can, leave a like down below. If you don't like it, then that's cool too. I understand, no worries. You want to help out the channel and see it grow, you know? Would you watch a video if it said Muffin Man is the best? I mean, because I haven't made one of those yet. And you still watch almost every stream, so. <laughs> Shortcut cheat code, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Let's go over. Go over and uh, get some. Get some dirt. Let's go see, uh, let's just go out, I guess, really, I mean, what we're doing, but yeah, four likes, not bad, I mean, it's, you're right, it's not bad, but it's not, like, great, either, considering we had six people watching earlier, you know, no telling how many people's rotated through since then, you know, But I do appreciate the likes. Thank you. Thank you. Means a lot. I don't think I've been this far over yet. Maybe I have. I'm not sure, though. I don't think I have been. I want to look at these horses right here. I mean, it's all right. Not, not as great, but yeah. I 
I mean, true. But then again, you got to think. I mean, even if you think it's cringe, that's just them trying to, you know, get you guys to realize that leaving a like and subscribing on their channel really helps their channel. You know, it's not it's not them being cringe. It's them helping you realize that that helps a channel grow. Because then they get pushed to 750 people that's never seen a thumbnail, never seen their channel, nothing. You know? Because you guys left a like and you guys commented and you guys watched for 35 minutes straight. And then you guys also subscribed and turned on notifications, you know? Yes, it's them promoting and it may get annoying, but that's how they get their channel to grow. So it's a sacrifice. It's a very small sacrifice to, to just ask for someone to subscribe, you know? Because it's free for one, and two, it doesn't like take but a second to do. Literally one click after you're on their channel. So. I just don't, one thing I don't understand is how these people get a million subscribers in a year's time. I've been doing this for four years. Maybe I don't play the algorithm correctly. Maybe I don't use the right tags or the right thumbnails or don't clickbait enough, but I try to be real with my community, you know, like I'm a real dude. I'm not trying to fake you, nothing, you know? That's just me though, the way I do things. Truth and honesty is greater than swindling someone into subscribing or liking your YouTube channel. You know, that makes sense. That's just the way I look at it. And see, I can't, I can't play games that don't get watch time. That's not doing me any benefit to do this. I can play them on my own time, you know, or play them with a creator that has a following to maybe uh, benefit from that, but, you know, or um, what is it called? Uh, networking i guess i don't do that a lot I, I obviously i've never done that i've never played with another creator to um to promote my channel or to mo promote their channel or anything like that you know what i mean so yeah I'm just gonna take out this layer, I think. I mean, that's a lot of dirt. I don't know that it's enough because we do have a big hole to fill, but. Right now, I think, actually, I think we fill our inventory as much as we can. So I may just continue digging here. I may take it somewhere else because this is a pretty big flat spot now. I want it to look, you know, kind of kosher. Even though I'm not going to explore this world like crazy. And again, I may, you know, four days later, I might be 3,500 blocks from here building a new base, more than likely. Very possible. Very possible.
Yeah. All right. The shovel's almost broken. And my boat is where? Oh, my boat is there. Okay. Let me pick that up so I don't lose it. Yeah. this guy what is this guy yeah I mean not bad I will break you I will break you aha then he says I will break you and jumps off the cliff <laughs> see here little baby pig We can still see the house from here. It's still in render. It's up in the top right. So. Hmm. All for the camera. <laughs> Jungle birch. Acacia? Potentially acacia or just like swampland? Got dark oak. We potentially have spruce somewhere too close. I'm really thinking about going down here. Going down like over here and flattening out that area for later. Potentially may build a house over that way or something. I don't know. I don't want my houses too close together. This would be a pretty cool like place with a big pond, you know? You just flatten it out like two or three layers. It's only got three layers up there, so I could do that. But I only have one more iron pick or iron uh, shovel. So, I don't know. Hey, this is pretty cool and interesting. I like it. Uh, they like it too, though. What? I'll help them not like it. Back, I say! Back, I say! Yeah! Alright. Yeah.
Hey, Solo, what's going on? Thanks for jumping in the live chat. I appreciate it. What's going on with you, man? There we go. I don't want things spawning in here anymore. It hurts. Oh, all right, let's see here. Oh, uh, yeah, bed. Um, good. Good deal, good deal. I am happy to hear that. Happy to hear that. Let's see, what do we have? Silk touch, iron, okay. Working on a little bit of the terraform today, uh, solo. So I'm just out getting some dirt to flatten the land a little bit. Um, I don't really want to build uh, multi multi level kind of things like uh, what I'm thinking about anyway. Multi level is not good for the idea that I have. So yeah. But I mean, we found some coal, so we might as well mine it out. I think so. Nice little vein right here. Wow. Actually, a pretty good little vein. Not necessarily little, actually. Pretty good vein, 36 out of that. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, yep. My ears are ringing, ringing, and... Some to make some torches here. There we go. Where's this llamas? Weird. Huh. Maybe they spawned inside the oh, you uh, maybe they spawned inside the hillside there or something I don't know that's weird anyway um yeah I'm gonna go over here and take about do probably a layer off it, as full as my inventory is right now so like this that cobblestone um, I don't really need to keep the cobblestone I can get that at any point in time so let me just uh, do a thing here and all that good for now. I want to go take out these heels right here in front of me. It's right here. Yeah. So first off, I'm gonna start with the little stuff right here. So these two and then... Oh, bro. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, we can still do a little bit more actually.
this is for maybe a potential future project i want to see what the pond looks like out front too though so i'm just gonna cut it back to here straight lines don't really look natural in this world but we're gonna cut it into a straight line here and i'm potentially gonna go down another one so just go ahead and dig it out a lot of dirt it is it is but we have a, a massive hole next to our house that we're trying to fill so we got to get the dirt for it you know it's a job Do I remember when I was in the eighth grade? Uh, yeah, I do. What about the eighth grade? Like, what do you want to know? Wow, this is weird. This is really weird. It's symmetrical, and the center's taken out. That's strange. I don't like it. What's in here? Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's cool. I gotta take this out. Was it a poppy? Yeah. I'm gonna move all these blue flowers too, and then we'll move the yellow ones and the red ones. If I have space, I'll pick them all up right now, but I don't think I have... I do have two more free spaces, so... That's good. We'll pick them all up now then. here real quick let's see what did i do for fun in the eighth grade let's see so i was the youngest in my class well the youngest guy in my class and i was probably the quietest in my class um, for fun at school, though. Oh. I mean, I really just kept to myself and uh, draw on stuff, you know, or draw stuff. Very artistic, quiet, you know, kind of thing. I didn't have um, like full access to the internet and uh, stuff like that. So I didn't have like Xbox Live for like at home or anything um, in the eighth grade. I didn't have that. That's a luxury kids think is a necessity nowadays. And some to some extent, it might be a necessity, but it's not exactly a necessity because I grew up without it. I grew up in the woods, you know, catching snakes and crickets and frogs and fish and salamanders and all that stuff. Me and a couple of my buddies would run down to the run down to the creek and uh, you know do stuff like that when we while we were at home that's what we would do while i was at school though i was quiet you know i didn't i didn't try and mess with nobody i didn't say nothing to nobody Just kept my peace about me for the most part 
I was what what people may consider a, a goody two shoes. Follow the rules and didn't really. Didn't really buck up against anybody like that, you know. But I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing, though. You know, it's respectful and stuff like that. So yeah, it's not a bad thing. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep here, and then. Well, should I just use the night time to go back to the place? Yeah, let's use the night time to go back. I like that idea. Run! My gosh, dude. quiet kid yeah I was the quiet kid I was definitely the quiet kid two totally different people yeah see i know that i don't i didn't you know cause trouble for nobody or i wasn't loud and obnoxious or nothing like that you know I followed the rules and did what I was told for the most part and you know respected my elders then again that's how I was raised you know consider Wi-Fi or internet a necessity you know you follow the rules but you're fairly social oh, okay yeah I no no not me you know I like being by myself always like being by myself even now you know I would rather do something myself then have, you know, five other hands trying to help me. Um, and then not get fixed or done correctly because of those five other hands. That's just the way I look at it. The way I've always looked at it though. I guess because I've found it to be true that, you know, if if I really need to fix something, I can fix it on my own. I don't need someone's help. You know. And yeah, some people might say that's a lonely lifestyle, but a lot less noise. I can tell you that. A lot less noise. I'm solo, that's why, no friends, that's why I call myself solo. I can understand that. That resonates with me, you know? It resonates with me very, very heavily.
right. I'll just put some of the stuff up that I have in my inventory. It can, oh, uh, it can get put up like that, that, then we've got that, that. All right, so let's go fill this uh, spot. Right over here. Now do you see why I got so much dirt solo? back from the shadow <laughs> I, yeah i asked you uh, do you see why i got so much dirt now i've already placed a layer down since you have been gone i guess but i mean i've got to fill this hole so bring it up to the level or what we would call it bring it up to snuff that's what we would say down in the south <laughs> but i need more dirt i ran out of shovels though so that I'm gonna need more dirt or what like I don't I don't get that It's gonna get filled in anyway, but I 
I do need more dirt. But, I mean, we got a lot of it filled in, so... Where's Ben when you need random comments? Ben's at work. Uh, update on the... Uh... Update on the Magnum he bought. Um, it was just air in the cooling system. Was not a head gasket. Was not a heater core, anything. It was just air. Needed to be, uh, needed to be bled. The cooling system did. So he bought a four or $500 Magnum that runs just fine. Nothing wrong with it mechanically, sound. He said he'd been driving it for half a day or something now, and it hasn't gone above half. In tame at school? I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah. again solo <laughs> try that. please try that again I don't know what that is but oh that's what it was so Muffman you know how a car has a radiator right you know how it has antifreeze and water in the radiator right Well, she, the woman that had it, took it to a shop and after they had, you know, changed out a thermostat or something, which opens up and allows water to flow. So the engine stays at a safe operating temperature. Um, they didn't bleed it, meaning they didn't allow the air to escape out of the system. So there was this big void in the system and it was it was overheating because air heats up faster than liquid if that makes sense okay so he let he took off the radiator cap and let it run and get to like a boiling temperature so all the air would go to the radiator cap and let and let the system just like bleeding brakes you you want all the uh you want all the air out of the system before you um start driving it or start using the brakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was overheating, you see, but, and the brakes are squishy if it has air in the system, okay? So, if you don't bleed the brakes, then you get uh, squishy brakes and not good performance out of your brake caliper. They let the air out of them, so the hydraulic system can work correctly and stop safely, right? Right. 
let's uh make about two three more shovels two more shovels i think we'll be fine so let me grab this let me put that up i'm gonna put that down there and that, that. And yeah. make two more shovels i need some more sticks i need some sticks <laughs> Actually, let's use the birch. going on here Time to go back. He's trying to say he used to get up at 10 a.m. Um, so he, he just can't type it. Do what? Why not? Like, why, why can't you say that? I don't understand. I'm, I'm lost, Solo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Autocorrect? I don't know. Yeah, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know either. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know what that was, but okay. I'm not apologize for that. You need to get your fingers checked out. <laughs> Maybe Solo, I don't know if Solo knows uh, English 100%. You know what I mean? You know? So let's be uh, be kosher on that. All right. Solo may be from you know across the across the world somewhere where English is a second language and not the primary language. All right. you're not good enough for me to well you're good enough you're just not what i'm looking for i'm sorry i don't mean to word it that way that's mean let me take that back <laughs> ow uh and laugh about it right all right so let's uh let's take this out now
All right. Yeah. I gotta get back with this guy about um, about this clutch pedal. My uncle needs a clutch pedal for his truck, and the guy says he has a manual truck, but the one I asked about was an automatic. Um, I want to see how much he's charging for the clutch pedal assembly. Really, just like the bracket that bolts to the the dash frame. Is that what you'd call it? I don't know. The dash bar? Yeah, there we go. Um, and then the pedal itself. No sensors, no master cylinder, nothing like that. Just a clutch pedal. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to take out. What kind of truck is it? Um... Early 2000 Chevy Silverado. I think it's a six cylinder. Um, I don't, I don't believe it's a V8. Don't think so, but it's an early 2000 um, Silverado, like the 1500 series. I'm not sure if it's the one with the fiberglass bed or not. Fiberglass bed was the step side, I know, but I'm not sure if it's the step side bed or not. But I think it's only two wheel drive. I mean, he just drives it back and forth to the chicken houses, but kind of need a clutch pedal to do that, right? back had to do math okay nice hey it's all good glad you got your homework done question mark are you homeschooled or something we're still digging dirt by the way we went and placed all that other dirt and uh now we're digging more to place level out the spot that we're at so yeah Salem isn't it summer well homeschool is year-round if I'm not mistaken summer not summer you no know? we're gonna finish out this row and then I'm gonna go and spend the night time sailing home. Oh. Yeah. What did autocorrect or something on you? Which is weird that it would autocorrect to that, but. See me rowing. <laughs> they hating. Gonna 
that gets me rolling dirty. <laughs> see what do you guys think about nine o'clock ah. a little behind and my sis is half home half private and she said when she is out I'm out oh, okay interesting that's cool that's cool Yo, I seen a boat uh, explode earlier today and um, it was kind of hilarious but kind of shocking at the same time because it exploded and there was a, a lady like right beside where it exploded and she got, you know, yeeted into the water because the the explosion was so strong she actually got yeeted not funny but funny and and my mindset i don't know why but yeah i don't know why i thought it was funny but and again you know whatever. okay Ah! Yo, bro, I wasn't even around you that long, dude. Like, go on somewhere else, man. Jeez. Yeah, right. Let me get back with this guy real quick. I want to see. Um, I want to see if he has a clutch pedal. I think he's pretty close. assembly He's close. He's close to where I'm at. Wouldn't be that bad to go get it and then take it to him or something. Not saying that I'm going to. Yeah, you know, I could. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go see about the thing. Do the do the deal thing. Oh yeah, we got to fix our broken tree too. Thanks to Mr. Boom Booms. He thought it would be funny to try and snipe me. So watch this. Now we got to use some of this dirt to fill in the spot. And... Alright, 
That'll work, I guess. That'll work, whatever. All right, let's go see about leveling this off over here. I mean, it's pretty good now, but it needs to go up one, well, two more levels, I guess, technically. Plus, is 100% invited to the barbecue. What do you mean by that? Like, why? How does that get um, brought up? I mean, awesome, great, I'm down. Uh, but like, what's going on? <laughs> Talk to me. Respect it. Okay. Bet. I appreciate that. Good. That's awesome. All right. Let's uh, let's bring it up one more level. I mean, that's gonna be a pretty good landing right there for whatever I want to build here, you know. And we can remember that there's coal and iron down there. We want to dig down and go get it. So. Oh, you gotta go? All right, we'll see you later. Uh, we'll see you later, Aquarius. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Just chilling. Hope your ears get to feeling better and quit ringing and all that jazz. Trust me, I'm kind of in some way feel the pain not exactly the pain part just the the ringing uh annoyance six likes let's go let's go i just had to rant about it a little bit that's all <laughs> that's all good that's all good though no worries no worries oh And all I've done is place, pick up dirt blocks and place dirt blocks today, pretty much. That's the majority of what I've done today. Which is like, nothing, really. What am I even making? Well, I said I was terraforming the land. So I'm making it into what I need it to be so that I can build uh, something here later or a few things here later, you know? It was the only spot that I had that I was thinking about building anything, you know? So. So it's 24 blocks long, or what I'm placing now. I had 29, there was four or five left, so 24 blocks. If my math's correct, which I'm pretty sure it is. All right, now let's move up here, start working on expanding this part too and I'm out five blocks short 
Okay. Well, let's uh put some of this stuff up. I don't need to replant you know, a tree or two over here. Maybe just one tree. Oh, well, I guess I could plant one there too. Plant one right there. That one there. That one there. All right, that's good. Wow. And uh, put this stuff up. Make some more uh, things. Make some more shovels. And I made so many shovels is because now we have to somewhat replace the stacks that we took out of our own inventory of you know, the four three and a half four stacks that we took out of our own inventory but yeah Boom. Here we go again. Another shooting. Oh, yeah. Dude, this guy, uh, he was like 19, right? And the bystander that took him out was 22. But the bystander took him out like quick. I think he only was able to take out three people. I think. These kids, man. They're not getting taught or raised at home. Oh, hello. Those are mad boys right there. We just we just ran past the mad boys and their crew. I'm not into all that. Let's keep going. You know what? Can't exactly just sit in the water either. I've got to find somewhere to dock and pick up my boat and run. Yeah. This works. Yeah. Just pray for those families, man. I believe it was three, but I could be wrong. 
Yo. Yo, I had shift pushed. Homie. That's pretty cool and all, but... It's uh, the sign of the times, man. That's all I know to tell you. The Bible says this has happened. It doesn't say, like, you know... It doesn't exactly specify mass shootings, but... The world's uh, groaning right now. Earth is actually groaning through the people. This is evil. And the reason why it happens is because free will. God gives us all free will, and the evil take advantage of the free will, and then they'll be judged for it. Harshly, might I add. Not just a slap on the wrist. Not just, you know, whatever, 10 years or whatever in jail, or 30 years in jail. Eternity. No. Bible doesn't ever say once it starts going bad, it's gonna get better either until it's over. So all I can really tell you is, you know, stick with God. Don't be on the wrong end of it. Being against it or against God is on the wrong end of it. Trust. Trust. I would not want to be in his wrath. I would rather be in his love than his wrath. It's gonna get worse, actually. It's gonna get worse. I don't know of it being anywhere in the Bible that says it gets better once it starts. I haven't exactly read it from cover to cover, but I don't know of it anywhere. I haven't heard anybody talking about it. That's why we have to stay diligent in our walk with Christ and help fight against it through uh, following God. Well, there's a reason why you're uh, alive, okay? At this time, today, there's a reason for it. God has a plan for you. It's not just, you know, yeah, I think I'll give him another day, you know. He's like, you know, talking to you. Hey, I need you to do this for me. I need you to listen. So many people don't hear his voice, though. So many people just turn a deaf ear to it, don't listen to it.
And not only pray for the families, well, I mean, the guy's already, the guy's already, you know, hit it, but. I was gonna say pray for the shooter, but he's already out of it, so yeah. shovel nice and i think we've already refilled our chest what we have been taking out but i still want to grab the rest of this the rest of these two anyway for right now but yeah might sound dumb but this guy's supposed to be it's not dumb you're trying to learn you don't know it's not dumb let me let me read that though wait hold on I'm dumb, but is God supposed to be like a voice or something? Because I don't hear him. Some people, like maybe even like yourself, don't know how to listen to him. Um. The best way I can explain it is um, get in a quiet place where you can talk to him. Okay? Because he's there with you. Quiet place. And be like ask him for help god show me show me or tell me how like make it known to me that this is you that this is your voice that this what i'm thinking now is of you right hey gpg how you doing thanks for jumping in the live chat i appreciate it but i mean ask him to show you you know about the man to reveal himself to you and say you know like make me aware of your presence not a sign but just like let like let your voice stand out among the thoughts that I have among the, the voices that are in my dome you know because we're thinking all the time we're thinking about stuff you know should i wear these shoes with those socks or uh, i think i'm gonna turn here to you know go to the park instead of turning down the road you know we're thinking like that all the time so there's multiple millions of thoughts just running through our head constant and those are somewhat audible to us so they could be classified as a voice i guess technically and um just you know ask him to make his presence known to you so that you know he's there and ask ask him to be able to hear his voice without a doubt clearly without a doubt You know? Ah, ah. 
ran into the spider's den. Get out of here. Spidey man. Yeah, we got a lot of dirt. <laughs> Is he gonna give me a sign or something? No, I wouldn't say a sign, no. I wouldn't say that. Okay. More or less, yeah. Uh, let's see. So basically, just let myself be aware that he is here and he'll talk to me. Yeah. And, you know, open the conversation. Be like, hey, God, what's going on? What's popping? How you doing? Obviously, he's God, so he's doing fantastic. But, like, what do you need me to do today, Lord? What do you need me to do? Who do I need to talk to? Who do I need to reach out to? What can I learn from you today? Show me, show me and teach me some things today, Lord. Just be aware of that he's teaching you. You ask to be taught, he's teaching you. Right? So we got about 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes, all right? I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is test my, uh, <laughs> test my crew at work and I'm gonna call them just before closing time, see if they even answer the phone. Sight, boy. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh man, you are a sight. Let me tell you. <laughs> man. Oh, uh, well, I, I still have quite a few stacks, so that's fine.
All right. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right. I'm going to finish putting this down. We're even going to run this other level down here out a little bit further. I mean, it's only got what, two more blocks, maybe. Now it has more. So I only have like two, roughly two stacks. I can't use all of it. I mean, I can. I don't need to. But we're gonna run one more, one more run from this corner. spaces now because we have clear borders to go by I mean that space is pretty big to build something else in I mean we couldn't build like two more houses there or nothing but we could build like a pretty good stable like a barn kind of deal we could do a, a barn and a farm you know um, we could do that so you know, that'd be pretty cool but Pretty much that's all we were gonna do today was terraform, fill that hole in, raise the ground level, you know, stuff like that. We can even, uh, we can even run this out, fill this in a little bit out here, you know, run these down so we get a little bit deeper too, a little bit wider, whatever, more land to place on, to build on, and then go from there. But yeah. I'm also glad we didn't completely fill the, uh, the water because that would have taken so much longer. Cause it's deep down under there, way deep down under there. So yeah, but yeah, um, I think we're gonna end it. Let me let me go down. I don't think I have a shovel either. So let me work my way down and then. Uh, we can place a few of these blocks over here on this side, I guess. Let's go ahead and fill in this right here. Yeah, I know it was kind of short today, but then again, I did like pretty much take the whole day off or whatever. Technically, it is an off day for me, so... Yeah. now we can just you know run these out if we needed to put a whole nother row in put a whole nother two rows in actually let me move this I'm just gonna go ahead and put one in I guess move this over here But yeah, now we got this whole big like section over here. I gotta close tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I go in at, I think I go in at like four in the afternoon or something like that. Yeah, I gotta close tomorrow. I could stream like in the morning time, but I don't feel like my community would watch because they would be asleep. So. Yeah.
Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get off and what time in the morning? Yeah, see, that's that's what I know. I don't know. Whenever I wake up and I I don't know how late I'm gonna stay up. I don't need to stay up too late, but then again, I probably will end up staying up till about three three a.m. And I don't need to, but I probably will. And then I'll sleep all day tomorrow. You know, I could go till 12 tonight. But I don't know what to build here. You know? I don't know what to build here. We could do like a little stable barn like I've done before. And uh stuff but I, I gotta collect all the materials and stuff so that would be for like you know prepping for another day's kind of video or whatever but yeah yeah right my my schedule at work is kind of like eh, not great for streaming i know that but i'm trying my best to make it work i'm doing my best It's not ideal at all. It's not. But like I said, trying to make it work. Trying to um, live stream in the evening like I've been doing for a while now. Um, when I'm off or when I get off at a decent time, like say I get off at four o'clock, I can stream that day, you know? But. I've also got to make money to do stuff, so, you know what I mean? Like, plain and simple. Save and quit. Now, if you guys don't want to watch Minecraft, just let me know. That's perfectly okay with me. We don't have to continue this, but so far. This is what I, this is what I'm going to be playing, you know? Um, oh yeah, I don't know, I don't even mind, okay, well that's cool, um, yeah, here, uh, I'm really trying to think about a game that I could get to play, um, that would be new to the channel and interesting to watch, No Man's Sky would be interesting, I think, However, I don't know about it. I don't know about it. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah. All guys, it's free now, right? You just gotta download it, right? I'll look. Let me look on Steam. I think it's on Steam. Is it on Steam or is it on... Uh... I don't think it's on Steam. I think it's on... Uh... Epic Games or something like that. Hey, No Man's Sky's on sale right now for 30 bucks. I mean... I mean... It's like a never-ending world, the game. Like, you can't go to the end of it. There's so many different universes and stuff that you many different bosses and stuff that you can fight you know things like that i just don't know just don't i don't know what i should do i need to spend my pennies wisely very wisely uh oh yeah i'm trying to figure that out I'm trying to budget things and stuff for the the automotive channel the automotive channels went stale again because I've been waiting to get in 
money for the parts to buy the stuff. And now I've got to wait three, four days to get this part that I just ordered. And there's uh, two, two or three more parts that I've got to order. So I need to get them on the, get them on the horn, you know, get them on their way. But I may have to wait till next paycheck to get them all. But yeah, Assassin's Creed would be cool. Uh, cool game to see. I'm not interested. I know that's like, those are cool games and stuff, you know, but I'm just I'm not interested in that kind of game. Maybe I'm played out. <laughs> I don't, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. I want, I would like the gaming community to stop being so dead come toxic and sweaty. So like everybody out here trying to be a pro and somebody that's just trying to make casual content has to like, you know, be one of the sweaty toxic players to do anything, you know? What about Apex Legends? I mean, it still is installed on my computer. It is. Uh, no, I'm good. Good. If I was going to play a game like that, it would be Cuisine Royale because no one watches it. <laughs> no one watches it. And I'm, you know, I'm not bad at it. I'm not bad at that game at all. That's why I wanted to try DayZ, but then again, DayZ's like a lower budget Tarkov kind of thing. So I don't know. I don't know, you know. Well, when I say lower budget, I mean like as far as graphics and maybe gameplay goes. Um, I don't know the games or the gaming companies, but yeah, Crew 2 is cool. Um, it's a car game. No one watches car games. As far as I'm concerned, no one, no one has ever said, Hey, dude, you should start playing Assetto again. Assetto is something you play with the boys. And the thing is, I don't have the boys, <laughs> you know, it's me. And my rig isn't set up all the time. It's underneath my desk at this current moment. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out though. We'll figure it out though. I wanna find a game that I can play. People in stream are the boys. Well, yeah, but no one has a setto. No one plays a setto. I think Ben has it. He just doesn't play it. He plays Car X. And then, uh, where is I think he has it as well but we never play any games together you know I'm, I'm just going to be honest the last time I bought a game to play with a Quarist, it was Sea of Thieves and he quit playing Specs doesn't have a Seto he doesn't have a wheel or nothing like that. He's more into FPS games anyway. He likes Fortnite a ton right now. Like that's what he's playing. Just not interested in Fortnite. It's too sweat. I'm not, I'm not that competitive of a player in, in a sense. Like I want to have fun playing a game. I don't want to have to, you know, but to have fun you need a wheel for a setto uh don't know that you actually need a wheel you can do like the controller thing i don't know how fun that would be you know? uh and i think he would much rather do something with dirt bikes something than setto and i i paid a lot of money for a setto Set of five dollars right now on Xbox. Oh, really? He's on PlayStation. Probably around about the same. Wow, that's interesting. The set of five dollars. Oh, it may be because I got the the higher tier one. Interesting. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get off, guys. I thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you all have a fantastic evening. 
Um, I hope you all uh, learned something from today and or was entertained by moving dirt from a place to another place. <laughs> um, yeah, make sure to click that like button. Subscribe if you enjoy the channel. If you want to come hang out again, you can turn on notifications. Um, if you want to support the channel in more ways than just that, you can also join, become a member. Uh, we do have that, so yeah. Um, that is a feature on the channel. Uh, we, I think we have um, gifted members as well, but you have to have be you have to be a member to gift a member. So that's the thing. We only have one member at this point in time. And uh, I mean, it'll get there. I'm not not stressing it too much, but we'll get there. I'm also working on something else outside of uh, YouTube. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah, make sure to spread love and positivity, guys, and I will see you all uh, in the next one. I don't know when that'll be. I don't know what my schedule is. So, yeah, um, ownership of something. Um, that's all I can say, Muffin Man, ownership of something. And um, I don't know what my schedule is this week, so I couldn't tell you when I'll be live. But if you're in the Discord server, which the link is in the description, um, I'll tell you. I'll let you know, hey, you know, I'm going to be live tomorrow um, or something like that. And when I when I say that, yeah, I usually mean like later in the evening, like I started this one at 630 or something. I usually start them around five, but. Forgive me if I have to take a nap, so it'll be later in the evening. Um, yeah. All right. Love and positivity. Tell somebody you love them. And I'll see you on the next one. Cut.